Howdy there, fellas. What seems to be the problem? Uh, our car broke down uh, a couple hours ago. We've been sitting out here. Just no luck getting help. What? <laughs> what the hell? You two of the luckiest sons of bitches in the whole county now that I'm here. Name's Cletus. You can call me Tuss. Uh, Chris. This is John. I tell you boys what. How about I take you two back to the farmstead, put a little grub in your tummies. I'll call up my buddy Glenn on the telephone. He'll take care of that car. Have her tuned, running like a whistle by them cocks crow tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Can we get someone to come, like, fix it up tonight? Pray not, muchacho. Glenn's the only mechanic worth a damn within a 50-mile radius. But I, like I said, he'll have her running by tomorrow morning. Uh, excuse us for a second. Tomorrow? Chris, we can't wait that long. Let's just go to the car and have someone else come. Someone else? John, we've been out here for hours. Nobody else has driven by. Well, can we just have him go get help? Either way, we're gonna have to wait for the car to get fixed tomorrow. Look, no matter what we do, we're gonna have to wait for the car. And I don't know about you, but I'm hungry, I'm tired. Free food and a bed sounds pretty damn good. How a lot better than spending the night in some mechanic shop, right? Yeah, you're right. I just got a feeling something's off with this guy. Just found something. Something's off with everybody. Hey, Tuss, uh, I think we'll take you up on that grub. Yippee! Oh, Paul's gonna be so excited! He just loves eating, eating new people! Hop on back! And don't forget to buckle up, boys! Just didn't tell me he was having guests. I bought at least two hapless souls along the side of the road and these cars broke down. Figured we got a little extra stable space in the barn. I knew he was making your famous home. Now, break. now, Tuss. I never turn away guests. I was just making supper and now I'm gonna have to make more since obviously we got more mouths to feed. I see you already met my boy Tuss and people around these parts. They call me Pa. This here's my brother, Uncle Billy. He's the meat man. Now, who might I have the privilege of serving here tonight? Uh, I'm, I'm Chris. I'm John. Mighty fine to meet you, boys. Now, Tuss, why don't you take John out in the barn and show him where he'll be sleeping tonight? And I'll take Chris in here and help me out with supper. You got it, Paul! Chris! Bro, what are you doing? He'll be fine. He asked me to help with supper. It's the least I can do, all right, considering the circumstances. He'll be fine. Bro, I'll bro, see you at dinner. Bro! Come on, Johnny boy, we got some work to do. Whoop! Thank you. 
Chris! Chris! Hey, have you seen Chris? I, I just heard something in the bar and I just want to go check out. <laughs> How you doing? Hey! Hey, back off. Get away from me! Back off, man! Tell you, boy, but you're the little piggy that went wee 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 all the way home. Good son. Real good. Well, thanks, Paul. I learned from the best. 